Hi guys, so today because outside it's telling me that it is summer because, I mean have you seen outside, it's really really sunny and if you're watching this on Monday and the sun's suddenly gone then, whoops, but I'm doing this on Sunday and Sunday is a gorgeous, gorgeous day so I thought I would do a summery-esque type post so I'm going to do my top 10, my top 10 summer nail colours so so yeah, I haven't really been painting my nails a lot lately, um, but I've really just gotten back into it lately, as you can see here, um, and I'm really, really liking some amazing summer colours. So I'm just going to talk you through my top 10 and why I love them. So let's just get started. First up we have this, I've probably talked about this so many times on my blog or in here in the past, it is Essie Splash of Grenadine. It is my ultimate spring summer shade and to be honest I think it's probably one of my absolute favourite Essie shades of all time. It's just such a lovely mauvey pink colour. I'm not usually a mauvey pink kind of person but this just has slightly more of an edge to it and I don't even know how to describe the edge that it has to it but it's just such a pretty pretty shade and it's so nice for spring and summer. I think because it's not as pastel-y or as bright or neon as some of the, of the other kind of like pink and mauve that you see this time of year. I think that's probably why I like it so much. Um, but I just absolutely adore this. It's Essie so it's such good quality as well. It has the really thick brush which we like um, and it's really really long lasting but it is just beautiful on the nails. I absolutely adore this shade and I think if you're going to pick up any spring summer shade at all this year it should definitely be this one because you do not want to be missing out on it. All of it. Should we stay on Essie? Let's stay on Essie. Another Essie shade which I love and people probably already figured this one out but it is Tarte Deco. This is when I'm definitely going on more of a corally, pastely, when I'm actually probably on holiday kind of colour. Um, it's just a lovely coral colour. It's so pretty, so beautiful. I haven't used it yet this year which is probably why it needs a really good shake. But it is a very very nice colour. It makes your tan just look amazing as well um, and again it's Essie so it's really good quality really really good quality it's really long lasting and it just looks super super pretty I really really like Tarte Deco it's very pretty this was my first ever Essie shade and it is still probably my ultimate summer colour I absolutely love this and it is Mojito Madness it was in one of their summer collections like two three years ago I think three years ago now um, but it's look how gorgeous this shade is it's just such a pretty colour and it's just a shade that I don't have anything else of and it's not something that you see a lot of on the high street either. Um, I just really really love this colour, I really want to come off this video and paint my nails this colour. That's how beautiful I think it is. Um, it's just like a gorgeous jade. I love the name as well, Mojito Man. I haven't had a Mojito in so long. I'm missing it. Um, and it's just... Oh, I absolutely love it. I think it's just so different for summer as well. It's, it's not like the pastels or the neons, it's just a really bold deep colour that is just going to get people looking at your nails. I get so many compliments when I wear this. Um, I just absolutely adore it and I just think it's so different for summer as well. It's just awesome. Definitely pick this one up if you can get hold of it anywhere. If you don't want to go for more of the bold theme or more of like a laid back kind of person with Essie then this is probably one you want to look at. This is called Virgin Orchid. It's so pretty and it's definitely one of those kind of bridal wedding colours as well. It is a very pale pink but it's got like a goldish shimmer running through it. It's very very pretty. Um, it's quite translucent. Is that the word? Sheer? Yeah it's quite sheer on the nails so you do need a few coats if you want a really kind of solid colour but it is just very nice if you don't want really bold nails this summer or you don't want anything really pastely. It's just a really nice kind of it's just a really nice shade for like an in-between or just like a, if you just want something to kind of tide you over until you decide what you want to put on. Um, but I do just really like this and I think it's very pretty for summer because when the sun hits that colour and it, that's when it really shows that gold shimmer running through it and it is very, very pretty. It is so, so pretty. And like I said, it's kind of like the perfect shade for a wedding, I think. So, moving away from Essie, I'm going to bring it over to Barry M. Bring it over. First up, oh, they're, both of these are their jelly ones. <laughs> First one is this one, this is Satsuma, it is a very bright orange, which is very unlike me, it's probably the only orange I have in my entire collection, but I absolutely love this. Um, I just think it's so cool. It's just such a lovely bright orange, it's not a coral, it's not a peach, it's not like a pastel, it is a bright 
friggin orange so if you want something different a lot of these are kind of different I don't know maybe that's why I like them but no I really really like this um, it does just look very cool on the nails um, it is something a little bit different so people really look at you like you're a bit of a widow but I just really really like it and I would recommend it and then the other one is oh my god what is this called let's look at this up guys pomegranate this is called pomegranate <laughs> I knew it was a kind of fruit thing oh so this is berry and jelly and pomegranate um it's just a lovely lovely deep pinky shade and um, it's part of me feels like this is more kind of summer going into autumn shade but I do really really like it for summer as well if you wanted something a bit brighter than a, a pastel colour or something that's not neon um, I just think this is really nice and it just kind of goes with a lot of stuff um, I just think it's really pretty and I really like these two I really like the Barium Jellies actually they're very very good next up is the only one from Topshop Nails actually and it is this very pretty this is one of their speckled ones and it's called Everybody Get Up and I just really like, I think it's a very pretty colour in the fact that it's a lovely like pastel lilac um, but it's just a little bit different with those speckles in, it just gives it something a little bit extra that's not kind of like the usual pastels that everyone else wears this time of year um, and it's just very pretty, They're, I mean it's not the longest lasting, it's not like an amazing quality nail varnish, nothing like that, um, I just think it's quite a nice kind of different aspect to a summary now so I really really like that. I've got two colours that are very similar actually but I wear these a lot and they are a little bit very similar to Essie Mint Candy Apple. The reason I haven't got Essie Mint Candy Apple in this is because I don't actually wear it that much and I actually prefer these to it. I know people love Essie Mint Candy Apple and it is kind of like at the top of their list but it's never been one that I've kind of reached for all the time so it's yeah I don't know I just don't get it don't get it. Anyway, the first one is from Rimmel and it's from their Salon Pro collection. This is called Peppermint. So it's a lovely kind of minty, greeny colour, a little bit like toothpaste. This looks very much like the toothpaste I'm using at the moment. Hmm. But this is a very, very pretty summery colour. It's quite bright actually. It doesn't look that bright here, but it's quite bright when you put it on the nails. Um, it does stand out and it really makes your tan pop. This is also really, really good quality nail varnish. It's got the really thick brush and it's also Salon Pro, so it's got Lycra in it. Um, which just means it's very, very long lasting. I mean, if you put a really good top coat on the top anyway, all of these will last longer than they will on their own. But this is very, very good. And then a similar one to that is... Oh, it's another Rimmel one. Uh, Rimmel London 60 Seconds. This is from the Rita Aura collection last year and this is Breakfast in Bed. I fell in love with this colour. This is definitely more of an off-white minty colour than this one. Um, it doesn't look that different in the bottles but when you put this on this is definitely a lot paler than this. This is a lot brighter um, but this is very very pretty and it's quite nice. Like I really like wearing this and then like my hands being underwater like in a swimming pool or something which sounds really weird but it just looks very pretty under that which is really bizarre and this is one again that I like wearing on holiday because it just goes with everything I usually take um, it's very kind of understated um, very underhyped I think it's just very very pretty this one and again it's really good quality it dries really quickly so I really really like that Last but not least is actually what I'm wearing on my nails today. I have raved about these nail varnishes before, um, so I'll try not to go into too much about them, but they are the 17 gel colours, and in particular, this is the colour Azure Amour, which is this gorgeous blue here. I absolutely adore this colour. Anyone that knows me knows I love blue. Uh, blue is kind of like my colour, um, but I find it very hard to find blue nail varnishes that I really, really like. They always tend to be like dark navy or like a grey tinge, um, but never anything. I feel like I'm molting. This is, yeah, this is the first kind of real kind of blue nail varnish that I've really fallen hard for. Um, I just think it's beautiful. It's lovely and bright, so really, really nice in the summer. It goes really well with the diamonds. Um, no, I just really, really like this. I think it's a pretty colour and I really, really like it and I would highly recommend it for summer and they do some really nice other shades as well. That's it, that is my top 10 summer nail colours, um, I hope you enjoyed it, I don't really talk about nails a lot on here, um, mainly because I haven't really been doing much with them lately, um, and I'm starting to play netball again, and every time I go they make me cut my nails with clippers, and it's horrible, so I need to keep them shorter, which is not fun, um, anyway, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if you did, if you want to see more nail-esque type things, um, let me know, 
do forget to subscribe and I will see you all again later in the week. Bye. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. I'm melting. I'm melting. Ugh. I need to get a haircut. Oh, melting. Shake, 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 shake,